the DC section. This is the AC section. This down here in the bottom left is the charging section of how you can charge this. So lights, outlets, USBs, charging. Simple as that. And on top you have the wireless charging. Welcome to another video from TDC Reviews. In today's video we are going to be giving a quick review over the Blue TTI power station. Wait! Don't leave this video. I'm gonna show you all the features of this bad boy right here. Yes, this 268 watt power supply. I know you're going off grid. I know you need some electricity to plug in your lights, to plug in your laptop, to run some things off grid. Are you camping? Do you have a inflatable air mattress that you need to air up? And when it goes flat in the middle of the night because you bought that off brand that you thought would be good, but you now are regretting it, you need to re-air re it up in the middle of the night, this is gonna get you there, okay? So I'm gonna give you all the features, all the details on this product, this bad boy right here. Keep watching. I found this bad boy on Amazon on Prime Day, so I bought it. I think it was around like 300 bucks. And this is the 268 watt hour power station. What the heck does the watt hour mean? Simply put, as you multiply what the equivalent of one watt hour is, which is 270 milliamp, multiplied by however many watt hours you have. So in this case, this is 268 watt hours, so I'll multiply that by 270 milliamp, which comes out to roughly 72,000 milliamp. So if a phone is around 4,000 milliamp and this is 72,000 milliamp, you can charge something as your, such as your phone quite a few times before it runs out of battery. On top, this one comes with a wireless charging pad that's built in so you can set your phone on top of this and it's going to charge your phone or whatever anything that has the wireless charging capabilities you can set it on there and it's going to charge right away let's look at what's on the front face of this so this has a flashlight on it and you can press it i think if you press it twice oh okay it gets brighter and then this blinks and then you push it again and it's off. This is the display screen that you'll see if you push any of the buttons and it'll go off after so long. I think it's like a couple minutes. They've drawn lines for you so that you know how everything's tied together. This area is to like recharge it. It comes with a cord that you can plug into here that can connect to a solar panel that they sell. Plug is where you put the plug in to charge it on. And this is a, a circuit protector or if you need to re restart kind of like tripping a breaker that gives you that ability comes with two usb type a ports along with a usb type c port right here and this is the dc output this is also a 12 volt output sort of like you see in cars so if you have anything like an air mattress or anything like that that has one of those ports you can plug that in right there it also comes with two of your ac outlets and these are 120 volt 600 watt each before you can power something on any one of these you have to press the button which is kind of tied into the diagram circle they put on each little module so for this for the outlets i push that button a green light comes on and then it's letting you know right now that nothing's plugged in. But if I were, it would actually tell you the draw that the device you're plugging in is powering. This tells you how much percentage is left. We're at 100% charge right now because I recently charged it. And then this tells you the watts. So if you plug something in, it's gonna tell you how much electricity it's drawing from the device itself. Just as a quick test, let me try to plug a MacBook charger in. We're pulling 120 watts at 60 hertz, which I believe 60 hertz is like the US standard for like electricity and all that, you know, wavelength stuff. I'm no electrician. <laughs> 120 watts, so not bad. It can go up to 600. Same thing applies with the other side. If you wanna use any of the USB ports, you can just press that button and it's gonna activate. And now both of these are activated. And within the settings, you can change it. I think when you first buy this thing, it's gonna come default to where these turn off the power if they're not being used for so long you can disable that feature to where when you press this it's always going to have power to it no matter what so when you're done you can press those and turn the power off and the screen goes i don't know if i already said this but the screen goes off after so long there's no turning this on or off it just works if it's got charge to it so this is the dc section this is the ac section this down here in the bottom left is the charging section of how you can charge this so lights outlets usbs charging simple as that and on top you have the wireless charging in addition another feature that this power station provides is the ability to um, turn itself into a, um, a ups 
which is I think like a unified um, power supply. So if you have devices that you have plugged in, such as like a NAS, a computer, a desktop, that you don't wanna lose power, you can have this plugged in all the time charging. It'll automatically detect that you have something plugged in while it's charging and it'll go into the UPS mode that bypasses the battery, runs the device that you have plugged in off of the actual power that, you're, that you would normally be charging this from the wall and then it trickle charges this. Let's say you have a desktop plugged into this and you have this plugged into the wall, it's gonna sense that that's hooked up and it's gonna provide the power to your desktop from the, the wall power. So it's essentially going to bypass the whole battery system, but in the event of a power outage, or if the grid goes down or any, whatever the reason is, you lose power to this device, then your desktop is going to stay on. Whether to power it down or just keep running it off the battery supply until the power grid comes back online. This product also comes with an app so you can control some of the features. Once you've connected this device, it's, it doesn't work off a cloud or anything like that. This essentially just emits its own, I don't know if it's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signal so that while your phone's within range of this thing, the app will detect it. And once you've clicked on the device, it'll show the amount of power you have, what outlets are on or off, and that sort of thing. You can turn on the DC, I don't know if you can see this from here, but you can turn on the DC switches. And that light's now on, I can turn on the AC switches. And now my AC switches are on, which is kind of cool. I can't see like a major need to be able to do this since you have to be close to it anyway, but if you're camping, you're sitting in a lawn chair, you're drinking a beer and you wanna be able to control this thing and just turn on maybe a light or something, you can do it from the app, that's kinda cool. And you can turn it off by doing the same thing, hitting those sliders and it's gonna turn that off. And you can also see like what's using like the draw and everything, it's gonna show you that within that window there. So the app gives you access to some of the settings within the Blue TTI, such as what charging mode you're on. It has three different charging modes, standard, silent, and turbo. I haven't really used the turbo or silent much. I think the silent just keeps the fan from running too much if you're trying to keep it quiet. I'm not really too, too sure on that. The turbo is gonna charge it faster than it normally would, but it also gives you a warning saying that you might be shortening the, um, the long-term reliability of like the batteries in this thing basically. So I've just kept mine on standard. It also gives you um, power lifting mode, which is suitable for powering 1200 watt max heating devices. Um, the rated output power remains at 600 watts. Do not power refrigerator, air conditioner, etc. So it gives you that warning as well. And then you have um, eco mode. Eco mode basically makes this thing save as much power as possible. And then lastly, from the settings you can um, turn the flashlight on, on or off, and there's like three different modes. There's high, and then like a SOS that blinks, or off. So that kind of summarizes the app. It's pretty simple, straightforward. It's minimal features, which you don't really want a whole bunch of settings that you want to have to tinker with all the time with this. So they've kept it simple. That's kind of nice. A few good use cases you might be using this or a product like this power station for would be camping. If you're going outside or an area where there's not electricity, you might need one of these, whether it's to blow up an air mattress, to have a, a fan running, a small AC unit maybe, as long as it's under, in this case, 600 watts. Then you might need something like this to keep your power going when you are off grid. Um, the other main use I could see this being used for is if you have a desktop or something that you do not want to lose power in the event of a power outage, then this would keep your device powered on. Guys, that about wraps up this video. Hopefully you gained some value from this product review. I just wanted to show you in person if you're scrolling on Amazon and you're looking at different power supplies and you wanna know, you know, this one's like one of the cheaper options out there and you wanna know what does it come with, all the features, the details, the app, all the use cases. Hopefully you learned something from this video. And until next time, have a good day, peace.